here is our current progress. We have most of the pieces uh, fully, well, or near fully bondoed, uh, fiberglass, resin, etc., etc. We're mostly on the sanding stage. This piece here needs a little bit of touch up bondo. And so I'm using, uh, for the first pass, I'm using 100 grit sandpaper to take off all these high points. And then Eric will go back over um, with a fine bondo coat to smooth things out, at which point it'll look like this piece over here. <clears throat> and what I do is I go over this with a 150 grit to take off all these scratches and things like that and to carve it down into shape and then use 220 to smooth it down really fine give it a, a really soft texture which is great for prime uh, putting the primer and paint on so we have currently three legs fully sanded a wing and the abdomen this has its first coat of fine bondo on it, so this is mostly going to be done with hand sanding because I can't really trust the power tools to be delicate enough with the face. So this is going to be a lot of hand work, but that's CyberX face. There's that. Um, my goals for today are to take the high points off of this arm here so that Eric can work on uh, putting the fine grain bondo on and then finishing up either the leg or the wings that we have over there. Um, after uh, sanding off the high points on our first one we realized that they really did need to have a slush inside because the angles were the, the points on the angles were coming up too high and I was sanding through them and into the empty space behind so in order to get the right shape, we ended up having to cut holes in the bottom right there and then fill it with a the same kind of slush that we're using on the outside, but just pour it in and then uh, tilt it around so that it filled in all the gaps. That way I can sand down on the outside and get a much smoother, rounder surface. So you can see where I sanded through on this one into the slush below like right here on these high points here it'll just carve all the way down into there and the end result is pretty nice it looks really close to the the uh, game model and I think it'll paint up perfectly we are let's see this right here you, you saw the other arm this arm here does not have a slush inside so we have to be really careful I've marked out areas where I accidentally went a little bit too deep with the 100 grit, so these pe these places here have to be reinforced. But this is what it looks like prior to the fine grain bondo going on. All the high points are taken off, still looks really liquidy and weird, so we have to put more bondo on top of that to fix it. Um, this dent here has to be filled and then uh, sanded, carved basically, carved down into shape. This is a flaw in uh, the Pipkura itself. It was put together um, with a little bit too much overlap on the tabs and as the piece was uh, put together and then attached up here in the paper stage, it warped this area of the blade and there's actually like a dent because it didn't fold together correctly. So that has to be fixed in this this stage of the build. This is our head. We, we call it the head. But um, this is going to go over our shoulders. And we're really running out of resin. So we decided to just put straight Bondo onto it. The last bit of our resin went into this slush over the top. Now we decided that since the wings are going to be covering up the majority of this, along with the shoulder pieces, which are going to be like really large off to the side. We pretty much, it's only necessary for us to Bondo from this point back, paying special attention to the engines back here, where we're going to have lighting and a lot of um, rounded shapes. So this is going to have to be built up in Bondo and then sanded round. But because it's so tall, these pieces aren't necessarily going to be visible from uh, the average uh, person looking at it. 
So what we need to do is just pay attention to the back half of this for really awesome sanding and painting and detail work. And then just leave this bare um, with the fiberglass reinforcement and the slush on the inside for strength. What we're hoping it'll do is reduce the weight a little bit because if we put too much Bondo on this, we could easily add another 14 pounds to the, the uh, headpiece here and then I wouldn't be able to carry it. It'd be ridiculous. I'm basically carrying a tank already, so there's not really much point in adding more Bondo where people aren't going to see it. So these are our pads. These are probably going to be covered with uh, plastic when we paint so that they don't get damaged by the spray paint or our primer. That's pretty much where we're at right now. Uh, today is a big sanding day. I'm going to be out here a lot. A lot. A lot of sanding. Um, coming up on, what, three weeks now? Three weeks until BlizzCon. Oh boy. Panic. <laughs> so I better get to work. Uh, thanks for taking the video, Eric.